It's story time again, and this time we're looking at Juliet with her family. It's a true story, however, the names have been changed. Juliet set off to do the shopping, leaving her little boy in the capable hands of the au pair. As she left the house, she noticed a white van parked close by. It had been there for a while now, at least a couple of weeks, and the man inside seemed to be always staring at her. She dismissed it. It must be a workman doing something for one of the neighbours. She returned from the shops and put all the shopping away. Suddenly the au pair came running in from the garden with her little boy. There's a man, she cried. <laughs> Wishful thinking, laughed Juliet. But just at that moment, a man ran through the back door and into the kitchen. He was tall with a large frame, but Juliet couldn't see his face as he wore a mask over it and only his wild eyes were visible. He was also carrying a knife in his hand. Please don't hurt us, pleaded Juliet. Upstairs, came the reply, and the man ushered them all up the stairs to the bedroom. Tie them up, he ordered to Juliet. She got some tights from the dresser and with shaking hands, gently tied the hands of the au pair and her little boy, who were both sobbing. I don't have any money in the house, but take whatever you want, said Juliet. Downstairs now, came his gruff response. Once downstairs, Juliet tried again. Please, take take my wedding ring. I, I don't want it, came his reply. I want you. Uh, okay. <sighs> Juliet sighed and started to unbutton her blouse. At that moment, a car could be heard pulling up. Juliet's husband had forgotten some paperwork he needed for a meeting that afternoon and had come home to fetch it. He came through the front door as the man ran out the back door. Juliet had to speak to several policemen. She was a wreck. She cried a lot, couldn't sleep and didn't want to stay in the house anymore. She didn't want to be in the area anymore and she didn't want to be in the country anymore. Neither did the au pair or her little boy. Her husband arranged for all of them to leave as soon as possible. They moved to a new country to make a fresh start and put the past behind them. The man was eventually caught. He had been jilted by a lady that looked similar to Juliet and he had become infatuated and fixated with her. He was obviously very unwell, but he did receive the treatment that he needed. Juliet, her little boy and the au pair did make their fresh start and managed to put the trauma behind them and heal from it. Eventually, Juliet and her little boy went back to visit their country, but it took a long time. The healing happened in its own time and so did the forgiveness. There are many people around the world that are looking to move and make a fresh start and a new life. Some need to do this for healing from trauma like Juliet. Some need to be with people or a community that resonates with them. Some want a quiet and peaceful environment, free from noise and hustle and bustle, whilst others want a better climate for their health. There are a multitude of reasons why people need to integrate and move to another place, and there should never be boundaries, borders or bureaucracy to stop them. When people are not in the place where they feel they are at home, then it's simply known as wrong geography. If newcomers to countries integrate with the people already in those countries, respecting their ways and customs, and if they positively contribute to the community and not try to take over, dictate or rule over the people already there, then there should be no reason to prevent free movement of people. The earth belongs to no one, not to plant life, not to the animal kingdom, and certainly not to us. So no one has the right to take without asking or take without giving. We're only here to inhabit the earth for a brief time and for a brief experience. Let's make it worthwhile and let's make it count.